Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial video of Power BI provided by Slidescope. In this video, we are going to discuss about linear regression. So if you have a basic understanding of linear regression, then you can straight away go and start creating the visualizations that we are going to create in Power BI. If you want to learn basics of linear regression, then I will provide you a link of video in the description. You can watch initial 5 to 10 minutes of this video and you will understand linear regression. In linear regression, we have two numerical variables and we plot a simple scatter plot between them or a line plot between them. As you can see in this example, we have year and per capita income as our two variables. Year is X here and per capita income is Y. On X axis, we generally take that variable which is independent and on Y axis, we take a variable that depends upon the independent variable. Now, in this blue scatter points, you can see when year is increasing, the per capita income is also increasing. We can at least say that. But these blue points are not in a straight line. So in order to predict the future values or values between the, uh, this particular interval, if these blue points were in a straight line, so we can use a simple formula called y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope of this line. So this dotted line or the dashed line that you are seeing is a line of best fit. This line is fit between these blue scatter points in such a way that distance of these points from this line is minimum. Again, if you want to go in great detail about linear regression, you can go to our uh, that video that I just mentioned. So in simple words, you just have to calculate equation of this line from these points and in order to calculate equation of these or this line from these points we have some formula here so x and y are already known to us from x and y using these formulas we can calculate m that is slope and b that is intercept Intercept is simply a point where this dashed line will meet the y-axis. So where in, at whatever point this dashed line will touch the y-axis, that point is our intercept and slope is nothing but inclination of this line. So slope is also given by a formula tan theta, the angle from the x-axis. So we have written down this formula and now let's see a simple Power BI visualization. In this visualization, I have put a simple what if parameter here as a slider. And when I am changing its value, you can see the per capita income, the predicted per capita income value being changed. So this is just a basic representation of how we can calculate this value for any year. Now let me first explain this data set to you. So it will give you more idea of what we are discussing here. So in the data set, which is called as Canada per capita income dot CSV file, it's a sample file. I will provide this file link in the description as well. 
So in this file, you can see we have two variables. One variable is year and other variable is per capita income. So simple linear regression or multiple linear regression will only work on those data sets where all the variables are numerical. It can be a whole number or a decimal number, but they should be numbers. So here as year is increasing, we can see that we have some value of per capita income in US dollars for that particular year for a country. And for every year we have some value. And this is what we have represented in this line chart. So in we have created videos where we have demonstrated how to create a line chart in Power BI. So with the help of those videos, you will be easily able to understand how to create a line chart. And we are going to demonstrate a little bit of that in this video as well. So here on X axis, you can see year and on Y axis, you can see the sum of per capita income for that year. And here you can see if we put our uh, mouse cursor at any point, you can see that at this point for X coordinate 1997, we have a Y coordinate value of 17,310.76 US dollars. So this is, this is what this line is representing. Now this is our slider here. This is a parameter. A parameter is basically a variable which we vary in order to change our visualization or to change the values in our visualization. Again, we have discussed about parameters also in our previous videos. So you will find those videos as well where you will understand what a parameter is. But it here you can simply consider it as a slider. So just to make things interesting, we have put a slider here so that when people are putting some year here, so with the help of that year value, our per capita income value is being predicted. And this value is being predicted with the help of Y is equal to MX plus B formula. So Y is per capita income, predicted per capita income m slope x is the sum of all the x variables that is year and b again this is how you will calculate it and now let's see how can we do it in power bi so first of all we will open a new power bi desktop file here Now in this blank Power BI desktop file, we will click on get data. Because our file is a CSV file, we will connect with a CSV file. We will select that file, open it. Now we can see the data. We will load it. I am just doing it in order to make you understand it so that everyone whether you are a beginner in power bi or you know stuff in power bi so that everyone can understand if you know this these steps you can simply skip this part now this data is loaded here and you can see the table name the table name is canada underscore per underscore capital underscore income. So this name is going to be used in the DAX queries. That, that's why I was reading this name. And by default, what Power BI does is, if the data is a numerical data, it summarizes it. It, it shows a summa, summary sign here. So now, if you will create a line chart, let's try to create a line chart. So we will click on line chart and then we will select this and this. So you will see two points here because 
Currently, we have summarized the data. That's why it is not appearing properly. So in order to see the chart as we are seeing here, in order to see the line chart like this, what we have to do is we have to make this ear. First click on this ear. Okay. When you will click on this ear, you will see the column tool and I will expand it and in summarization, you can click don't summarize. So we, we will not summarize the year because we want all years on X axis and for every year we want the per capita income. So that's why we are not summarizing it. And now let's try to click year and the per capita income and now you will see this line. So this is a way for this particular data set how you can create a line chart. Now we have to create so I have also written all the steps involved here. So now we have to create all the calculated columns and measures for the component of equation of line. Equation of line used for linear regression in our case is y is equal to mx plus b where y is per capita income in our case and x is year. It is an independent variable. So first of all we will create a variable called x square that is nothing but so how we can create x square so I will just copy the name of this variable. So now what you have to do is I will collapse these filters, go to modeling and we will create a new column. We will name this column as x square and because we have to use the name of this file, we have to pick a column from this file and apply a square to it that's why we are creating a column here when these columns will be created so using these columns we will create measures so we we have also done a video where we have discussed about what is difference between a measure and a column in a power bi visualization or simply in power bi what is measure and what is a column so you can watch that video as well and so that you can understand if you understand what a column is you you are simply creating a new column that is not there in the data and this column is just a calculation so here we will write canada per capita income and select the year column because x square will be so first we are selecting x and then square so this this will be x square and then click on this commit sign so this new column will be created so this is how this column is created x square canada per capita income year square simply we can create x y so i am just going to demonstrate this and now we will again click sorry we will have, we have to create a column so modeling i will go to create a new column and this new column will be called as xy so now this xy will be created and i don't want this we i don't want to make this video a long video but so the, what i will do is i will simply share this formula with you and uh, after creating these two columns you have to create a measure let me demonstrate how to create a measure it's simple in modeling you have to go to new measure so when you have to create a new column click, click new column otherwise a measure a very simple thing to understand and then we are creating this n what is this n if you will refer to this formula n is this particular variable here 
so we are going to create this formula basically and then we will hit enter so similarly you can create all other columns and now i will come back to my file in which i have already created these columns i will expand data and you can see that i have created x y x sum x square sum then n m that is the slope so if i will click on m you will see it is created with the formula of division so in division you have numerator and denominator so n x y sum x sum multiplied by y sum which is basically this so you must have basic understanding of these dax formula in order to understand this if you don't have understanding then obviously it is a very easy thing to understand if we have to create you know if we have to create m so we will divide all of these values with this value so when you create a divide function so in divide function let's try to create a new variable so that you can understand So let's say test is equal to n when you will put divide so here you can see numerator denominator and alternate result in alternate result we will put zero save divide function will with ability to handle divide by zero case here you can put let's say we want to divide n so you can select n comma by let's say ppci so this way you can create a measure that will calculate division of any two values so we have already done that so we are not going to create this so that's how we have created all of this now after creating all of this so you can simply copy and paste all of these lines in your table these are simple formula divide sum so you can create all of them after creating these columns in measures you have to create a what if parameter in that what if parameter we can choose the date as uh, data type as whole number minimum value as 1972 maximum value as 2016 and increment as 1 let's see how we have created that so uh what you have to do is you have to go to uh, modeling and here you can see this new parameter okay so click on this new parameter here select a numeric range so follow these steps select it as numeric range because uh we want to show this slider here okay uh, this slider that you are seeing which with the help of which this value is changing so we will call it some something as test parameter let's let's call it test parameter and it is going to be a whole number and here we can set a minimum and maximum value so from our data the minimum and maximum values are already given here like 1970 to 2016 so i i will choose this 1970 and i can put it as 2000 and 23 or 24 so as per current year so that we can predict future values also so this is what we can do and increment will be 1 and by default the year will be 1970 so this is how you can create a parameter here and then don't forget to check this add slicer to this page so when you will click it so a slicer will be added to this page just like this slicer here so you can see uh, this time it has placed the slicer here so now your slicer is also added here now let's see the other steps 
After creating the what if parameter, we will calculate the predicted per capita income. So I, I will call it, this is going to be a measure here, so PPCI. And we will use this formula M multiplied by X year multiplied by X year value. So when you will create this parameter, okay, so you will see here that when a parameter is created, so in that parameter, two values are created. One value with the name of the parameter and one value that says parameter and space value. Similarly, you can see in X year also. So it creates two variables for you, X year and X year value if the name of parameter is x so in this case the name of our parameter is x okay uh, and we just saw that in in this case the name of parameter is text parameter so suppose you have to create a new parameter here so what you have to do is let's say we have to create another uh, predicted so let's say predicted income it will be M multiplied by test parameter and test parameter value. So I will show it to you. And this is simply MX plus B. So we will create a new parameter here. Go to modeling and sorry, new measure here. And this new measure is, let's call it spread income, predicted income and we will use a bracket here so first of all mx plus b you you remember the formula right mx plus b so we are calling y is equal to so this is y and mx plus b so m then multiplied by x x in our case is going to be this test parameter value so test parameter value so simply by doing this so mx plus b so this is how you will create your predicted income parameter and you can simply check that and now once this new measure is created it will appear in your data and So you can see that we have this predicted income variable here and now in order to show this predicted income value that I will delete this first of all. So you have to create this card. You have to click on this card and in this card, click on this card and as you can see when, when I have selected the card. It, it is asking for what field to display. So I will simply drag this predicted income and now you will see. So now you can drag this data. So, and in order to show a slider, so what we have to do is, because that slider is not there, the slider that we created for this uh, that slider is our test parameter. So our test parameter slider is there in the footer. Let's drag this. We will see. Let's drag it to 2016 and then we can drag it to 2022. So this way you will see how after changing the values in this parameter slider, we, we can see the predicted outcome. So although this data is up to 2016, but it is predicting that in 2016, it was 34,000 something. And now for, for the year 2022, it is 42,000 something. So this is how using linear regression, you can predict future values are uh, 
when you have two variables two numerical variables given one of them is independent and other is dependent so on the basis of values of independent variables you can predict future values of that dependent variable so uh, all of this will be provided in the description of this video you can try it and if you are facing any difficulties you can post your queries and we'll be happy to answer you thanks for watching this video